This is end of chapter problem 7.05 from the CFA Institute textbook, Corporate Finance, A Practical Approach. The question is, which of the following is most likely to signal negative information concerning a company? All right, share repurchase. Well, that's not a negative signal. If the company is willing to buy its own shares, what they're saying is that the shares are undervalued. If they buy them back now, uh, they're, they're actually buying something that's underpriced. So if they're right, the current investors, if they held on to their shares, would it be worth more in the future? Okay, so that ain't it. A decrease in the quarterly dividend rate. Decreases in established dividends are virtually always bad news. They signal that the company can't afford to pay the dividend. So that's negative information, and it typically triggers a run on the stock when companies uh, cut dividends. So they don't cut dividends if they don't have to, all right? So this is the answer. The two-for-one stock split, that's a company thinking the share price is, is climbing up so high. Let's just go ahead and split it. You know, the share price has gotten up to $700 a share. This happened at Apple. They did a seven-for-one a seven share split so that anybody that owned one share on Friday owned seven shares on Monday. The one share valued at $700 on Friday got turned into seven shares valued at $100 each on Monday. Nothing changed except that the shares got easier to trade because then if, if you needed a little bit of money, you could sell a couple of shares and and not have to sell too much of your holdings. Anyway, uh, stock splits are not negative information. They don't really signal much anything other than the company thinks that the shares would be more liquid if they had a lower price.